Hi there, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this particle explosion effect in DaVinci Resolve using the Essential Particle Dissolve Effect template. If you haven't seen the video about the Particle Dissolve template, you can check the video up here or through the link in the description below. Here is the explosion example clip used in the previous video. And this clip is the DaVinci Resolve logo without the effect, we are going to recreate this effect from scratch. Apply the Particle Dissolve 2 effect to the logo clip, it has the default dissolving effect enabled. First let's change the dissolve pattern from linear to radial, because an explosion starts from the center. Enable the fusion overlay, this makes it easier to adjust the dissolving path. Move the start point to the center. We can also modify the value in the inspector. The coordinate for the center point is 0.5 for both X and Y. Shorten the path by moving the end point closer to the center. This distance controls how fast it dissolves the image, the shorter the path, the faster it dissolves. This is good, as we move forward, the dissolving completes right before the end of the clip. But at the beginning, it starts dissolving too soon. To resolve this, we can decrease the wipe start value. Now it's good. The dissolve pattern seems pretty natural, we can keep these default settings. Next go to the particle control, we can increase the size a bit, to 0.3. Leave other settings with the default values. For the explosion effect, we will need to use the point force. To verify the result, we can disable all other forces. The speed is set to zero by default, so there is no change here. Turn off the turbulence by setting the level to zero. And the tangent force. Now with only the point force in effect, we can adjust the settings to achieve the result we need. Point force, as the name implies, renders the force from a single point to pull or push the particles. The point is defined by the X offset and Y offset. The on-screen control is a bit confusing here, it sets the offset, and the actual force point is the center point of the screen plus the offset. For the explosion effect, we will set the force point to the center by resetting both X and Y offset to zero. Since the force strength is set to 0.1, a positive value, it attracts the particles. When this is set to a negative value, the point force will repel the particles. In this case, we set it to minus 0.1. Okay, it now pushes the particle outward, but not like in an explosion. We'll need to add back the turbulence force to give it a natural look. Enable the turbulence force by setting the level to 1. It's better, but it's running too slow for an explosion effect. To change that, we go to the first section in the inspector. Set the animation time to 15, which completes the dissolving animation in 15 frames. When it's zero, the dissolving runs for the entire duration of the clip. This is much better now. The explosion is starting right from the beginning of the clip. We can add some delays if needed. For example, set the time offset value to 20, delaying the animation by 20 frames. Another thing is the number of particles, it feels a bit too little. We can change the number from 1000 to 5000. All right. This is how we create the explosion effect using the particle dissolve effect template. There are some other examples used in the intro of the previous video, you can follow these steps we demoed today to recreate those effects. For your reference, I will show the inspector settings on the right side for each of them. Alright, 
That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.